on the next Street Smarts, these two will have to predict who got it on the nose and who took it on the chin. Two heads are better than one. But two twins don't make a right. How long has it been if you haven't seen someone in a fortnight? A week. week. It's two weeks. Yes, that's what I said. Wait, well, you each said a week. No, 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 no. And one beauty queen can't get it right. How do you pronounce this word? Phenomenon. Phenomenon. <laughs> Phenomenon. <laughs> Street Smarts. Think you've got them? Find out now. Thank you! Hi there! Welcome to the show. I'm your host, Frank Nicotero. Now, as you know, Street Smarts is the show that sends me out on the road to find folks who will do anything to be on TV. Well, by anything, I mean people who are nice enough to answer my questions. I ask, they respond, and then I take it back here to the studio where our contestants try to predict who got it on the nose and who took it on the chin. Okay, let's say hello to our contestants. We've got Troy right here! Yeah. And the lovely Corey! Just get dirt. Let's check out our Boulevard Brainiacs. First up, Mark and Clark are twin pianists from Columbus, Ohio, who play as a team. For the first time on Street Smarts, you, you get two for the price of one. We have the twin brothers here. Yes. We have Mark and Clark, and how, how who's older? I'm older. You're I'm, older? I'm three minutes older. He's three minutes, he, think, he was the first to come out, which means I was the first to go in. <laughs> now, where are you guys originally from? Florida. No, Florida. we're from Columbus, Ohio. From Columbus, Ohio. So tell me about your show that you guys have. Well, we uh, play twin pianos back to back and uh, sing, do comedy, you know, right? We recorded with Columbia Records, CBS, five gold albums in Europe, and uh, we're here in Las Vegas now. Love these guys. And crazy girl Tammy brags how, as Miss Nevada 1998, she had no talent. Now, Tammy, how long have you been in the show? Three years. Three years in the show, and what, what's the, the weirdest thing that's ever happened while you're doing the show? One time I fell right on my butt and I had to crawl off stage. <laughs> so Tammy, you were Miss Nevada 1998. I sure was. That's great. What was your talent in the talent portion? Uh, we don't have talent in USA. Oh, okay. Oh, see, so yeah, I know. <laughs> what was your best subject in school? <laughs> Home economics? No, I'm just joking. Uh, let's go for English. English? Yeah, that's And what was good. bad? Science was bad? Oh, math was terrible. Math was horrible, too? <laughs> Tammy and Rashad from Tacoma, Washington claims to have played ball in college and yet fears my ups. Uh. Rashad, where are you from? I'm from Tacoma, Washington. And what do you do in Washington? I'm a mortgage consultant. Right. And where'd you go to school? I went to the University of Puget Sound. And what do you, you got a degree there? You got, I got a four-year degree there. And you played hoops? I played basketball for University of Puget Sound. How were you? I was good. Right. I, was, I was real good. Jump ball between me and you, who wins? I, oh, I get that. Yeah. Oh. Who's the smartest person you know? My mother. Your mother's the smartest? What's some of the best advice she ever gave you? Be strong, be confident, be yourself. Okay. He says white men can't jump. All right, let's get going with round one. Who knew it? I asked all three the same question. You guys have to figure out who got it right. Lock in your choice and a correct guess earns you $100. All right, let's roll. Here's the first question I asked him. Mark and Clark, Tammy, and Rashad. I asked all three, all four, there's four of them today. What is the main flavor in the snack food known as Funyuns? So who knew it? Was it Mark and Clark, Tammy, or Rashad? Who knew that one, guys? Log in as soon as you can. This is so cool. We have twins on the show. And Troy, you guys are both locked in. And Troy, you think the twins are the ones who came through, huh? I figure two heads are better than one. OK. All right, huh? I knew someone was going to say it. Let's take a look. What is the main flavor in the snack food known as Funyuns? The main fl uh, in Funyuns, uh, the main flavor would be, this? well, it's onion. Potatoes. Well, which one do you want to go with here? Okay, you go. Tomatoes. Tomatoes? <laughs> Tomatoes, yeah. It's onions. I know. As onions? Yeah, he had it right, but we had to take your answer, so yell at him. Yell at him. You are. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, buddy. He over it. I'm sorry. He didn't get it. They didn't get it right. <laughs> now, now, correct. You think Rashad knows this one, right? Yeah. He's he... going to come through? Absolutely. Did you like the way I jumped over him? That was awesome. <laughs> Thank you. Did Let's you check it out. <laughs> what is the main flavor in the snack food Funyuns? Funyuns. Pepper. Pepper's the main ingredient in Funyuns? Yes. <laughs> I'm sorry, that is not a right answer for the correct answer. Tammy had it right here, watch this. What is the main flavor in the snack food known as Funyuns? Onions. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I hate them. You don't like, I don't like onions either. Like we were perfect for each other. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> laughing like I have no shot. <laughs> I had a chance. All right. Yeah. Here's the next question I asked all three. Shake that one off. We'll get you some money on this one. John Bon Jovi is the lead singer of what band? 
Who knew it, guys? Was it Marky Clark, Tammy, or Rashad? Lock in when you think you know. Okay, uh, you're both locked in, and you think uh, Tammy knows, huh, Correct. Right? Tammy, totally. Um, she, she's just, I don't know, she just looks like one of those chicks that would definitely listen to... Like Bon Jovi. <laughs> All right, let's check it out. <laughs> John Bon Jovi is the lead singer of what band? Guns N' Roses. No. <laughs> is that it? Yeah, it is. Guns N' Roses. That's it. I almost went Metallica, but now I'm going to... Bon Jovi. Bon Jovi. John Bon Jovi's in Bon Jovi. <laughs> hey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, she didn't know. Now, Troy, you think Mark and Clark think the twins will come through? They're uh, piano players. Right. I mean, they like Should music. Know music. All right, let's Absolutely. see if we get you 100 bucks. John Bon Jovi is the lead singer of what group? Bon Jovi! Yeah. Oh, do you guys do any Bon Jovi songs in the end? No, because he doesn't do any of ours. <laughs> All right. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. All right, here's the last question around, guys. Hooray, we'll try to get some money on this one. In the song, Hail to the Chief, who is the chief? So who knew it? What do you think? You think it was Mark and Clark, Tammy, or Rashad? Who knew it? That's the name of the round. All right, you're both locked in. Ah, I see, Mark and Clark. Troy, yeah, they worked for you once. You think they can get them again? Man, I'm going three for three with them. Three for three? Work out. <laughs> All right, Troy, let's find out. Hooray's with you. In the song, Hail to the Chief, who is the chief? The President of the United States. And how does, how does the song go? It goes, hail to the chief. <laughs> <laughs> you both got Mark and Clark way to go. There's a hundred bucks for each of you. Nice job. Uh, just for fun, I want to see what Tammy had to say on this one. In the song, hail to the chief, who is the chief? The queen. The queen is the chief? <laughs> the president. It's the president's song, hail to the chief. What's that song, though, that you do with the, uh, the queen song? You know, the... the the, uh, the you know, we will rock you. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's recap the scores. Hooray, you got 100 bucks. Nice yeah. job, you're warming up. Yeah. Troy's got 200, yeah. thanks to the twins. Stay tuned, soldier. Street Smarts will be right back. <laughs> Post-mortem refers to something that happens after what? After you die. Okay. What happens after you die, what do you think? You're dead. Right. <laughs> you believe in like reincarnation or heaven? I would like to believe we come back, but you know what? But if you come back, you should pick what you come back as. I like to come back as a, a dress that hangs in Halle Berry's closet. <laughs> Welcome back to Street Smarts. Let's meet our two in-studio contestants, and they're, they're great. I love them both. Now, we have Troy here. Uh, where are you from in Illinois? How do you say the city? Uh, McHenry, Illinois. And what do you do there? Uh, I'm an account executive, and right. I once took a client out to a hypnotist show, right. and uh, we both got hypnotized and were part of the show. It was very embarrassing. But you still got the account. I still got the account. All right, Troy, exactly. plus I loved you on The Real World. Okay, also, <laughs> Troy, yes. uh, you're from Maui, Hawaii. You, you own your own it. business. I do. And one time you did something for a celebrity. Um, I made a floral arrangement for Arnold Schwarzenegger. Excellent. And uh, he basically commented more on my flowers than on the food prepared your by my partner. Your partner's food, and, yeah. the, and so your, the business Done. broke up from yeah. there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. my God. Whatever. All right. But it's well, all good. Maybe someday he'll be back, your partner. Oh! I'm a man of a thousand voices. Let's recap the scores. Shout out, you people. 100 bucks for Craig, 200 for Troy. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, I think my heartburn's acting up. No, it's just another round of who blew it? Uh, I asked the same question to only two of our participants at the time. It could be, could be three because, you know, I got Mark and Clark as one. You guys have to figure out who got it wrong, okay? You'll lock in your choice. Correct guess gets you 200 bucks this time. And don't forget the dust cap right there. You can use it only once this round, you guys. When you hear a question you think your opponent won't know, buzz in and dunce them. If they get it wrong, you get the 200 bucks. But if they get it right, they get the 200 bucks. The cap can be two-faced, so watch it. Okay, here's the first question of the round, guys. And I asked this one both to Mark and Clark and Tammy. What Ally McBeal actress also starred in the movie Charlie's Angels? So who blew it? Someone up there didn't know. Was it Mark and Clark or was it Tammy? You cannot tell me the answer. Lock in as quickly as possible. All right, you're both locked in. Hmm, you guys uh, think Mark and Clark blew it? Try. They won't know this one. They were good for you the first round. Yeah, I don't think that they're into those uh, chick type of TV shows. Okay, all right, let's take a look for both of you. What Ally McBeal actress also starred in the movie Charlie's Angels? Felissa Lockhart. Lockhart. I can't. That's What's her name? Felicita Ockhart, Lockhart. Felista, fuck. Felista. I see, I okay. can't get my season yeah, episode. Me, Ockhart. Did you guys see Charlie's Angels? <laughs> yes, we did. They blew it. Way to go, guys. Mark and Clark blew. You both get 200 bucks. Nice job. The correct answer, Lucy Liu. My girl, Lucy Liu. Okay. <laughs> I was trying to be Destiny's Child. And I'm too white. Okay. Here's the next question I asked to Mark and Clark and Rashad. I asked uh, all three of them. The Declaration of Independence guarantees life, liberty. Oh my God! Troy, you've been done. Put it on top of that. Oh, there we go. Okay. 
All right, here we go, Troy. You got five seconds to answer this question. I'll read it again. Three hundred bucks on the line. The Declaration of Independence guarantees life, liberty, and what? Oh, jeez. And the pursuit of happiness. No! That's the right answer, Troy. Way to go. Throw that hat on, Troy. Put your cap back on there. Nice shot, buddy. You steal the right hat on now. So, who do you guys think blew it up there now? So, lock in, tell me who blew it. Mark and Clark or Rashad? You both have hats on now. Okay, right. okay you're both like locked in. You that. think Rashad blew it? Rashad, Kare, uh, or Kare, Rashad will know this? No, no, okay. no, no, no. Let's no, take a look no. for both of you. Rashad, the Declaration of Independence guarantees life, liberty, and what? Justice. The American way. <laughs> yeah, we will hope that is the American way. Okay. Hey, Blue, you both have Rashad. Nice job, you guys. The right answer, though. I'd like to hear it from uh, Mark and Clark. Clark and Mark, the Declaration of Independence guarantees life, liberty, and what? Pursuit, Pursuit of, of happiness. happiness. Pursuit of happiness, right. And are all men created equal? You guys are twins, I guess Absolutely. so. Absolutely, all men are created equal. <laughs> Don't believe a word he says, all right? <laughs> Not as equal as I am, but... Oh, well, no, no, no. All right, here's the last question, guys. I asked Tammy and Rashad. I asked the two of them. Actually, I showed both of them this card, and I asked them, how do you pronounce this word? One of them blew it up there. Do you think it was Tammy or Rashad? Could not pronounce that word. What do you think, guys? Lock in as quickly as you can. Troy's got 800 bucks. Hooray has got 500 bucks. And Hooray, lock in when you can there, Chad. Right. There, there you go. Okay, you both think Tammy blew it. Troy, Tammy won't get this one? Uh, she's a beauty queen. I'm guessing phenomenon. Oh, ah, let's try it. Let's see what happens. How do you pronounce this word? Phenomenon. I can't say that word. Okay, well, it's, it go slow. Uh, no, I can't look at it. Oh, okay. uh, like the movie, f um, right? Yeah, phenomenon. <laughs> phenomenon. 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 She blew it again. You bought that, Tammy. Two hundred bucks for you. Through. Nice job. Phenomenon's the correct answer. Let's recap the scores. corey has got seven hundred bucks. Hip hop, Corey. One thousand bucks for Big Show right there. Coming up, the show will be more phenomenon. 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 Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Let's come back. Okay. John Bon Jovi is the lead singer of what band? Aerosmith. Aerosmith? Bon Jovi. That's what it was. Right. <laughs> is he coming back? Yeah, it that makes me so mad. Welcome back, Mr. Cotter. <laughs> what? All right, what about your lucky horseshoe? Because it's time to pick your pony. Each of you guys will choose one person to retire on. I'm trying to guess how they'll answer three questions. The correct predictions were $300, and the dunce cap is back. It's worth 300 bucks. You can only use it once. Now, recap of the scores. Going into the third round, we have a lot of money here. Correa's got 700 bucks. Troy's got 1000 All right. It looks like the guy from Real World. Now, the player who's trailing chooses first. Correa, that would be you. So who'd you like to saddle up? I'm saddling up Tammy. You're going with Tammy? Tammy so let me see you going way. with our crazy girl, Tammy. <laughs> now, Troy, who are you going with? I think I'm going to ride the range with Mark, Mark and, and Clark. Mark and Clark. All right, good job, buddy. Here we go. <laughs> Hooray, here's the first question I asked to Tammy. In the Bible, Moses led people out of what country? Do you think he got that, or she got that right or wrong? What do you think, Craig? Think she got it wrong? All right, let's take a look. In the Bible, Moses led people out of what country? I'm gonna say something with an A, like Abraham. Abra. I'll just go with Israel. Egypt. Close. <laughs> That's a wrong answer, way to go, Craig. We got a tie game. You each have a thousand dollars. All right, Troy. Here's your first question to the twins, Mark and Clark. What Asian country was selected to host the 2000? Oh, you've been dunced. Um, you've been dunced. She got it quicker. All right, correct. Yeah, you're lit up, buddy. It's electronic. Trust me. I'm gonna read it again. You got five seconds to answer the question. 300 bucks on the line. What Asian country was selected to host the 2008 Summer Olympics? Uh, I'm gonna have to go with uh, China. That's the right answer. Where you go? Troy, what do you think? You think Mark and Clark knew that, yes or no? I think, uh, well, Mark and Clark, there are two of them, so I'll have to go with the right. Okay, let's take a look. <laughs> what Asian country was selected to host the 2008 Summer Olympics? Korea. Was it Korea? Mm -hmm. Is that Korea? You're gonna go with Korea? Wanna go with Korea? Okay. It's Korea. Korea. Okay. China. Yes, yes, yes. They got it wrong. I'm sorry, yes. Troy, they didn't get that one. <laughs> okay, here's your next question, uh, Korea. I asked Tammy. In the nursery rhyme, what is the London Bridge doing? Oh, gosh. She definitely got this right. She got this one yeah, right? She's... All right, let's see if we can get you 300 bucks here, Correa. In the nursery rhyme, what is the London Bridge doing? 
It's uh, falling down. Yeah. Falling down? And where is the London Bridge? I guess it would be in London. You know what? It's actually in Lake Havasu, Arizona. Shut up. I swear to God. Oh, yeah, it is. I, can, I got one of those coins from there. You know, I was like 10, though. She got it right. Way to go, Corey. 300 bucks for you. It is in Arizona. My grandmother was in Lake Havasu. Hi, Grandma. Okay, here's a next question for you to Mark and Clark Troy. How long has it been if you haven't seen someone in a fortnight? What do you think, Troy? I think Mark Fortnite. and Clark think the twins can Let's pull through. Let's see. Yes, I'm going to have to go with uh, wrong. You don't think so? All right, nah. let's take a look. See if it they blew it. Now. How long has it been if you haven't seen someone in a fortnight? They're looking at each other on this one. They're discussing it. A, a week. week. You know what? It's two weeks. Yes, that's what I said. A week for you. Oh, wait, well, you each said a week. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. no. That's a lot. Yeah. Them sneak that one in. You're up to 1600 bucks on that one. All right. You each have one more question in the round. 1600 bucks to 1300 So, Correa, you need this one to tie it up. Uh, I asked Tammy, Crawler, Old Fashioned, and Glazed are all types of what? Oh, yeah, I there's only one do dunce. I know. Yeah. Okay. All right. <laughs> so, what do they do? This Tammy got it right or wrong, Correa. You can tie she it up. She so got that wrong. All right. She let's take a look for a clean. tie game. Crawler, Old Fashioned, and Glazed are all types of what? Donuts? Yes, donuts. Are you serious? Yes, a crawler, I guess. A crawler. Crawler. A crawler. <laughs> She's so she got she it right, Karay, I'm sorry. All right, so Mark and Clark have one more question for you, Troy. Dr. Scholl's primarily makes products for what body part? I mm. think they got that right or wrong, Troy. You got a 300 bucks? Mm, I'm going to have to say they got that right. All right, let's check it out. 300 bucks. Dr. Scholl's primarily makes products for what body part? I got that. I got that. The feet. Okay, exactly. So are you guys, are you okay? That was so easy, I could have got that well, one. Well, he got that one. You're in the middle, you're catching all the questions and the answers. I'm over here in the end, the feet. <laughs> yeah. That's a great answer, way to go, Troy. Nice job, buddy. No, Mark and Clark. Let's recap the scores, Troy. 1,300 bucks, that's a damn good score. But Troy's got $1,900. Yeah. When we return, Troy and Trey will be making a final prediction on a question I asked to Mark and Clark, Tammy, and Rashad. I asked them, Medusa's hair is made out of what reptile? Our final round will freeze you with terror. Oh, it can get ugly in... The wager Be like a statue and don't move! <laughs> Welcome back. We've got a great game here, guys. Now, Troy and Trey, here's the scoop. Now, during the break, each of you secretly chose a person out in the field. You yeah, made a prediction if they would get the question right or wrong, and then you wagered an amount of money not to exceed the total you now have. A couple big totals here. Correa's got $1,300. Yeah! For Troy, even better, $1,900. Okay, it's all or nothing, so let's get to it. Here's a question I asked to Mark and Clark, to Tammy, and to Rashad. Medusa's hair is made out of what reptile? So let's get your choices. Troy, you're up by uh, 600 bucks here. Pretty high score. So whose clip do you want to see and try to win? I'm going to have to go with you're Mark You're going and back Clark. to Mark and Clark. They've been good to you. Now, Correa, 1,300 bucks. Good score for a second place score. Whose clip do you want to see? I'm going to go with You're going Tammy. with Tammy. All right, same as in the pony round. Nobody picked Rashad. We're going to say bye to Rashad. We hardly knew he. All right, so bye, yeah. All right, so that means, Kare, we're going to check out Tammy's clip right now, see if you can come back, take the lead. Let's see what happens and watch. Medusa's hair is made out of what reptile? That would be snakes. That's a correct answer. All right, Kare, you went with Tammy. She got it right. Push that button and tell me what you said. She did. You said right. Now, Kare, how much did you wager of your 1300 bucks? You wagered... $700. 700 right? yeah. She won't even choose. She is now in the lead. So you went with Mark and Clark. Let's check out their clip and see what happens. Medusa's hair is made out of what reptile? Snake. Okay, Mark and Clark said snakes. That is the right answer, too. They both got it right. You went with Mark and Clark. They got it right, Troy. What did you say? Push that button and show me. You I said, said they were going to get it. You what? said right. All right, Troy. You had to wager uh, more than 100 bucks. You wagered $701. Medusa's hair is made out of what reptile? Snakes. All right, so act like a Medusa and look at me. Oh. 